Hey, my collective lovies. Happy, happy Sunday. I hope you all are doing really well. I miss you guys yesterday. Thank you so much for your love and support. And remember to like our video and share our channel. I appreciate all you guys do, okay? Don't be a stranger. Talk to me in the comments. I need you guys to be a heartbeat over here. So let's get our comment section jumping. What's going on? I hope you all are feeling amazing. It's Empress Sneak, your spiritual guide. Let's dive into your message. Spirit, thank you so much for showing me what's going on with my collective family. These, visit, these videos resonate with all signs, all placements. When you get it is when it's for you, okay? And if it doesn't fit, don't force it, all right? Let's see what's going on here. Thank you so much, Spirit, for blocking and bonding on negative energy. Entities, witchcraft, and wickedness. Thank you for giving us spiritual messages of love, truth, and guidance. Amen. Okay, so these are the angel messages that I'm using for you today for this Sunday. I wanted to see what type of positive messages will come out for you. You know, I like to encourage your heart. It's fun to do sex lives and videotape, you know, and all that racy energy. But I also like to tap into the good. Everybody needs to be encouraged from time to time. So let's get into some encouraging messages and see where this goes. So the first card out is wellness. It says recovery of health and wellness is here. So if you've been feeling under the weather or you've been fearful of a diagnosis or anything like that happening in your life, wondering if you're going to be well, yes, you will be recovered. You are going to be restored and your health is going to be back top tier. Okay. You know, you're going to feel a lot better back to yourself again. So don't worry. All right. Um, and let's see. And we have, and then for those of you who have situations where you know that it's something that they don't have a cure for at this time, you still are going to be feeling a lot more healthier, a lot more rejuvenated. You're going to get some energy back. So you're going to feel good. All right. And then we have prosperity. All right. This says there's a positive shift in your flow of divine support. I know that's right. Okay, collective. So some of you are looking for good things to happen and good things happen to those who wait and believe, honey. And I feel like this is about to be happening for you. So there's going to be a positive shift in your energy. Okay. Help is on the way is what I'm getting. Okay. So don't worry. You're going to have some extra divine support better health so that looks good natural beauty and authenticity um be yourself as god made you naturally attractive and lovable inside and out i know that's right huh who gonna question the king he say you're attractive inside and out male or female energy don't be so hard on yourself okay mind your thinking see that be careful what you're thinking and what you're telling yourself about who you are how you look and what you got going on okay Then we have spiritual path here. It says your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. I know that's right because iron sharpens iron and there's some strong people out here watching me. Readers, guides, and all, okay? Um, and you definitely need to be encouraged too, but Spirit wants you to know that you're on your spiritual path. Um, and I feel like this, these decisions that you're making to serve and help others, um, decisions you're making to pull back from the negative energy, pull back from the negative people, this is all about to pay off big time for you, okay? You're gonna see the fruits of your labor, okay? And and this success guarantees success here okay so don't doubt the process trust the process then we have ruby bless your heart reach out for emotional and spiritual support and heal and mend your heart all right so some of you need healing okay don't be afraid to reach out for emotional support talk to people that care you know you can talk to us in the comments whatever you feel the need to do but definitely don't sit and suffer in silence all right there is people out here that care about what you're going through i know it's a cold world we're in right now but there are still people that care all right and then we have spiritual protection so you're being watched over and protected physically emotionally and energetically so and look at my look at my purple heart y'all hey <laughs> so look 
you you are being cared for. You are being divinely protected. So if you're wondering if you're protected, if you're wondering if whatever these people are trying to do towards you is going to work, no, it just won't work. You're going to be protected. You're going to be guided, and everything is going to um everything is going to align for your good. So just be positive, okay? Stay motivated. Stay encouraged through all these tough trials and tribulations, through these exes and people that mistreat us or may not know how to treat us. You know, people that try to deliberately make our life harder and things like that. Don't worry. Spirit got your back. All right? Spirit definitely has your back here. Let's go ahead and move on. Let's get some more cards to see what else is here for you. Let's see what you got coming towards you. For my collective, show me some messages, spirit. What does the collective have coming towards them? What may not, what they don't see, what don't they see coming? All right, we got Cancer here. We got Scorpio here. Hey, my water sign, loveies. How you doing? I love y'all. <laughs> I'm a Cancer in my love house, okay? I'm a nurturer, loving and kind, yes. Scorpio again. All right, so Cancer and Scorpio, listen up, loveies. All right, and this is not only for them, but significantly, Cancer and Scorpio are here. So, breathe through the tension, Scorpio. Hold it down. Stay strong. Stay focused, you know. You're just as calm like these waters. And I love y'all energy. I ain't gonna lie. So, just, you know, when, when people get you mad, Lord have mercy, help them. Okay? But for the most part, you're just as calm as these waters. And Spirit wants you to breathe through the tension. Just be your calm, um, um, emotionally mature self. And things will blow over. Just sit back and watch. Everything is gonna blow over soon. Okay? Um... And if you're not a Scorpio, same thing for you. Take a page out of Scorpio's book and be just as calm and cool and easy as these waters and watch things unfold naturally for you. Things are going to get better, faster than you think. Then we have push through any insecurity cancer, all right? We know you could be hard on yourself. Love yourself just like you love others. You deserve that, all right? And don't be fearful of things that are working for you. It's definitely going to work, all right? And for those of you who are not a cancer, push through your insecurities just like cancer has to do on a daily basis, you know? Cancer can be very hard on themselves, you know, but they find a way to push through adversity, push through their own insecurities. They help people, they nurture people, and they still rise above and they get that bag too. Okay. So push through your insecurities and everything will be fine. You know, your confidence is key and that sets the tone and makes people expect you, um, respect you in a whole new light. Okay. And some of y'all, I almost said expect you, people could expect you to be this person that is just so um, confident and sometimes you just don't feel that way and you know what it happens that's when you gotta push yourself so it's all good happens to the best of us release your block scorpio okay so it may be a scorpio here watching me that needs to release their blocks maybe you need to be stronger maybe you need to say no hello Okay, <laughs> and for whoever's not a Scorpio, you know, release your blockages. Um, sometimes it's people. Sometimes we sleeping with the enemy. Y'all know the vibes. Like, look beside you. Who you need to release? You know, maybe it's these family members that just hinder you, and they're purposely trying to make your life a living hell. Some people you just have to release. Okay. Let's tap in. We about to tap into the angel oracle. I mean, the angel tarot. Let's see what the angel tarot tells you. And then we're going to clarify it with the regular tarot. At the end, we're going to get some self-love affirmation cards. These cards here. Okay. Then I'm going to let you go, baby. I know. I don't want to let you go. But I got to do some other things. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what these angel messages want to tell you. And such a spirit, guys. Holy angels. Hey, thank you for being here with me in my collective. Show us clear messages about what we need to know as far as this energy coming toward us. What do we need to know? For all times, all placements, show me clearly, please. 
so the two of fire, the need to make a decision. It says you're coming into your own. So a lot of you are embarking on these new opportunities, new job, new place, new car. All right. New partnerships or contracts. It says continue to move forward. All right. Something promising ahead. Okay. So your angels are telling you continue to move forward. What else is here for my collective lovies? What's going on? When? Ace of Water. All right. It says falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship. So somebody could have a new relationship and you're falling for each other so fast. Or so somebody could have a relationship that's coming back around again. Now you guys are taking it slow. You're getting more connected. You're taking time to get to know each other. Spiritual growth and channel intuition, a new home. So all of these could be significant for you. But Spirit is definitely telling you to keep moving forward. Don't be fearful. Don't be doubtful. Don't doubt yourself. Be confident and let the divine guide the way. Okay, let's pray God you here. I feel like this is gonna surpass your expectations. This blessing that's about to come into you, you don't expect this, but it's gonna be amazing. We got Knight of Earth here, loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. So let's see. It says it's time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. A guardian angel is with you. Okay, so you gotta guard the presence of a guardian angel. You could be somebody's guardian angel. But spirit is definitely telling you it's time to buckle down and your angels are here helping you. You need to get these things done. So you could be working on a lot of different projects, but it's time to bring these things into fruition. Use your energy, use your power, take a page out of Virgo's book, very hardworking, very dedicated. All right. And they see things through. So make sure you see these obligations through. I feel like there's a lot of blessings. The night of um, earth is a night of coins. Energy it talks about new money flow coming in. So definitely, um, Push, push through, okay? Might be tired. Some of you are tired. Push through, all right? You got something good at the end of this tunnel. Somebody got love and money coming and a new home. All of these things are coming. Look, emotional fulfillment, 10 of cups energy. This is the 10 of water, all right? And this says a con it says a contented and rewarding family life is coming towards you. Um, So if you're already in a relationship and you already have family, um, things may have gotten a little rocky. This is going to come back together and you're going to feel good again, okay? Your emotional and material needs are met. Trust, trustworthy relationships. So finally, I feel like somebody is going to get that person, your life partner, that you can enjoy, that understands you. This person fulfills you and they also check on you and make sure that you're good male or female energy this feels good if you haven't gotten it yet this is coming towards you so it's important to balance your energy handle your obligations so you won't be burdened and weighed down and too stressed out for this person all right so you got something good coming we like it a lot all right, let's go ahead and tap into the tarot and see what the tarot wants to tell you. Underneath the bottom of the deck, the magician energy. Yes, okay. You are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. So for some of you, you're just doing so good. You're breezing through right now. Um, karma has ended. You've settled your karmic debts. I feel like the will is turning in your favor here. And there's a lot of things that you're able to do now that you weren't able to do before. Things are definitely looking up. Up to you i mean looking up for you somebody could be dealing with the virgo or virgo is significant here but virgo all right if this is you listening to me love is you doing a damn thing like things are getting good okay so like i said life is great <laughs> i know that's right life is great okay let's see all right let's go ahead and get the tarot baby let's see what's going on and what's going on to tell you today This is just a right of weight tomorrow. Old school. You should be able to read these with me. And if you can't, don't worry. You'll learn. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. For my collective lovies, all signs, all placements. Show me clear messages. Thank you so much. Thank you, angels, for your protection. Oh, a recognized victory is here. Spirit said, keep going, okay? You got people nudging you, egging you along. Somebody could be a fire sign here, but there is good news, a victory, all right? You're doing really, really well. This is getting gratification um, and people 
acknowledging your success, okay? People proud of you, all right? So I feel like this is a good time for somebody here. And Spirit is saying, to a fire, keep going, all right? Yes. Ace of Water here. What's going on with the Ace of Water? And then the Two of Wands with the five, um, with the Six of Wands. That's Eight of Wands. Fast action. Fast paced movement. Somebody could be moving towards you also. Somebody could be going out. All right? Ace of Water. Falling in love. Walking away from the things that don't serve you. The Eight of Cups talks about you leaving behind the things that don't serve you. Um, it also talks about a time of you being emotionally unavailable. All right. But now I feel like with this Ace of Cups energy, things are definitely looking up for you. I feel like you're walking away from the things that didn't serve you and moving on to something better. That's where this person is going to start over. So the Ace of Cups is also talking about new beginnings and walking away from everything that didn't serve you. All right, and I feel like you're doing really, really good here. A recognized victory is definitely here. Could be talking about a Queen of Cups energy. All right, but the Queen of Cups is very loving, nurturing, a lot of love to give, okay? Um, a very kind-hearted person, the mother of the Zodiac. Also, somebody could be pregnant or having a baby. Good news about a baby. Walking away from the things that don't serve you because now you're a mother. Somebody could be changing their um, head, changing their energy, all right? But I feel like after a time of being a bit burdened, Ten of Wands talks about the end of a cycle. So not only did you walk away from the things that don't serve you, now you're in a recognized victory, but you were burdened. And now it's time to put down these burdens. Somebody's lightening their load. Could be a King of Cups energy. You heard it, okay? You are now realizing that you've been taking on a lot of burdens from other people and you're letting that go. So we're just saying it's time for you to be more lighthearted. Time for something better to happen in your life. So I feel like this is happening, okay? I see judgment here. Yeah. You're standing your ground. Nine of Wands talks about one fight left in you and you are going for it, okay? This is you being confident. This is you protecting everything that you've worked for. And this is you being a wounded warrior. You've been through a lot here, a lot of different circumstances, a lot of learning here. But learning brings growth. And now you're standing firm. You got your wand set in place, all right? And you are standing guard. You know, some of you may feel a little bit um, guarded and defensive, maybe just watching, very observant. You know, you've been through a lot. You learned a lot of lessons. So, you know what to look for now. Somebody say, oh, I'm ready for it now. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of burdens here, but you're, you're getting out of that energy. Some of y'all, um, some of you guys are definitely standing your ground here. So, you got somebody that could feel burdened with responsibilities as a parent. But after that, I feel like you're putting these burdens down. Ten of Wands, a new cycle. Nine of Wands also, some of you are just guarded. You're watching. You're close to being able to put these burdens down. So some of you are releasing. Some of you are close to it. You one step away from it. But look here. Happiness. All right. Happiness is definitely here for you. All right. So this is some beautiful energy to be in. I really, really like what I see here for you. This looks really, really good. I don't know how that just happened. <laughs> I was trying to calm down the energy. So, yeah, somebody is walking into their happy place, doing good, feeling good, feeling amazing. Things are looking up for you. So, yes, all right? Somebody is going to be getting a lot of love. This is the King of Cups. So, my King of Cups could be finally moving past these problems into the new and improved you, okay, into the worry-free you. You, you. It's like I'm no longer, I'm no longer burning. So somebody is putting these burdens down. Now you're protecting your energy because you're happy. You're protecting your happiness. You're not letting people break you. You're not letting people interfere. You're doing really well and you're moving forward. And then here we go here. King of Cups energy. Okay. Feeling good. Feeling loved. You got a lot of love to give. This is you becoming more emotionally balanced, emotionally stable. All right. You knowing what you want and you going for it. This is beautiful. So Spirit is definitely letting you know that you have greater coming. Things are about to look up for you. Things are getting a lot better here. Um, and you're about to move into a beautiful, beautiful energy of receiving your just due, okay? So I feel like now your hard work is paying off. All your efforts are going to be paying off. And you're walking in this energy of success and happiness. So somebody is very happy and things are going well, okay? So that's good. And if you haven't gotten here yet, this is what you have coming. This is what you don't see coming, okay? So get ready for it. Prepare yourself for better days and a very bright, bright 
rest of this year okay so thank you loveys for being here i love you guys and i appreciate you if you want a personal reading you can email me at closer the number two my destiny the number one at gmail.com all right i will see you guys sooner than later love you bye